going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that y'all are here with me today. If you want more Disney content and more Kyle in the Kitchen, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Button to subscribe, it's right below. Go ahead and give it a click. We are making something extremely popular and very sought after in all of the Disney parks. We are making Mickey waffles. I've got my Mickey waffle iron here. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in to get that all warmed up. All right, that is on and heating up. So we are gonna be using the official Disney Mickey waffle mix. And the fun thing is you can purchase this right on Amazon. It's Golden Malted America's Waffle Original Waffle and Pancake Mix. And like I said, you can purchase this right on Amazon. I'll include the link to buy it in the description below. And if you do not want to purchase this, you can just use a regular pancake or waffle mix, but to give it that that Mickey waffle flavor, go ahead and just add a little bit of malted milk to your recipe. I will include a recipe to use the malted milk in the description below as well. So without further ado, let's get to making some Mickey waffles, shall we? You'll need a large mixing bowl. So we'll start with that and we'll get our malted mix going. So the recipe for it, it is right on the container. So it says we need one cup of golden malted flour. All right, so I've got my one cup here and I'll try to do this without making, maybe I should use like a smaller, we'll use a little spoon to get it out. So I don't make a mess all over the place. So you need one cup and get a knife to level it off. So one cup goes in your in your bowl. And I'm a big supporter of clean while you go because I'm not Martha Stewart and I don't have people to clean for me. I'm the cleaning person. All right, so we've got our golden malted mix in the bowl. Next it calls for one egg. There's our egg. And then it calls for five ounces of water. I don't know how much five ounces is. Hold please, I need to Google it. One hour later. Five ounces of water is equivalent to a little over half a cup of water. So we've got our, our water and then we're gonna whisk it all up. All right. And if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of vanilla extract as well, just to give it a little bit more flavor. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna stick to the exact recipe on the container and I'm really hoping it turns out well. I have not used this recipe yet. I've not used this mix. So we're gonna experiment with this together. So I'd say the amount of mixture that this gives you will make about maybe two to three Mickey waffles. So let me grab a plate so we can put the completed Mickey waffle on there once it's done cooking. Hold please. Got my plate. My waffle iron is heated up and ready to go. I'm just gonna use a, a little, um, what is this thing called? A ladle, just a little ladle to pour the mix right into the waffle iron. Y'all, I'm so excited for this. I don't wanna over, overfill. All right. So it's in, maybe one more little scoop. Nope, just kidding. In it goes and we'll just let that cook. And you always need a cup of coffee while you're in the kitchen. Some of the mix may ooze out of the side. That is normal and you know, it always gets messy in the kitchen. It always gets messy. So I'll just take my paper towel and just wipe that off. I wanna know what you guys think. In the comments below, where is your favorite place to get a Mickey waffle? Comment below, y'all. 
Um, I have not had it here, but I want to get it here once I can feel comfortable going back to the Disney park. Um, Sleepy Hollow in Liberty um, Square. You can get a big Mickey waffle with like whipped cream and fresh berries. I know they have seasonal waffles. I think they have the um, pumpkin spice waffle now. I am a huge fan of pumpkin spice. Love, love, love me some pumpkin spice. So you could also make this like seasonal as well. You could add some pumpkin spice, you could add some cinnamon, you could add some nutmeg, just to give it some like seasonal flavor as well. So this cooks for about like, I don't know, ballpark two to three minutes, depending on how like dark you want your waffle. I'm not a big fan of anything really burnt. I'm a fan of like a little undercooked. That's just me though. Comment below, how do you like your Disney waffles? Huh? Maybe like 30 seconds more. And let's get a fork to scoop it out. Not quite done yet. It smells so good. Oh, and I'm wearing my Disney Villains shirt in honor of the approaching Halloween season. Just because we're in COVID doesn't mean you can't enjoy Halloween. Just don't spend it in groups and probably not go trick or treat this year, unfortunately. So spend it at home with your family. Make some Mickey waffles. All right. Looks so freaking delicious. I can't get it out of here. I think I was supposed to spray. Yeah, there he is. Try to get it out of here gracefully. Yikes. So you wanna trim off any, any, excess, any excess on the edges so it gives you that Mickey shape. And scrape out any of the, the excess batter from your iron. I know what I forgot to add. I for, it also calls for butter. Let me add the butter real quick. I literally am horrible at like reading directions fully. Um, don't do what I do. Read the directions. So it calls for, close that so I don't get burnt. It calls for two tablespoons of melted butter, which I forgot to put in. So I'm just gonna add my butter now. One in Rome. And while I'm at it, I'm going to use some of this butter to put on the pan so your batter doesn't stick. So just get a paper towel, or maybe not a paper towel. Yeah, just like rub it, rub it on there nicely. Try not to, try not to burn yourself in the process. That would not be good. All right, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, our butter is melted. So let's just go ahead and pour that right in. This might be a little buttery than the first one, but you know, Paula Dean uses so much butter and she turned out fine, right? All right, so we'll make another one. All right, so I'd say this mix is gonna make three Mickey waffles. So it's enough for one person, or if you're not a big eater, one per person, who am I to judge? So like I said, the first one does not have butter. The rest of the mix has the butter. So do not forget to add two tablespoons of melted butter. I'll include the description of the recipe in the description below. It's early in the morning, y'all. Words aren't my thing right now. Let's just roll with it. That's why coffee is your best friend in the morning. And sometimes I like to press it down for a little bit just so it gets good and cooked. I don't think you need to. Maybe that's just in my mind. I'm not really sure, but eh, whatever. Oh, baby. Yeah. Cooking. Kyle in the kitchen. I'm an embarrassment. I'm an embarrassment. And what a simple breakfast for like a weekend or if you're on a staycation or whatever the occasion may be. Yeah, we have enough to make one more. Perfect. Nice and golden and fluff. All right, let's make the last one. Get him going. Be a little bit more on that ear right there. There we go. Close him up. And the final one is finished. 
simple as that, guys. The recipe on the container, it gives you enough to make three beautiful Mickey waffles, all using the official Disney World Waffle Mix, Golden Malted, America's Waffle. This is what I used. If you don't wanna use that, like I said, you can just use a regular um, pancake waffle mix and add a little bit of malted milk to that recipe to give you that Disney World waffle taste. So for toppings, you can do syrup, you could do whipped cream with some berries. You could do a little bit of chocolate. Whatever you wanna put on top of your Mickey waffles, you go for it. You do you, boo. The recipe and everything that I use to make Mickey waffles, it's gonna be in the description below. You can purchase the mix um, so you can have it at your in your pantry. I will include the Maybe don't pick up a hot waffle iron. That was a that was a lesson freaking learned. Always get that on camera. Oh my god. All right. I'll include the link to the waffle maker in the description below as well. Do not pick up a hot waffle iron. It it will not end well, I promise you. With that being said, go ahead and get yourself subscribed to my channel so you never miss out on any video that I post. I will be back next time for another episode of Kyle in the Kitchen. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.